Hello everyone, I'm Safwan from Chennai, way down in the south. I study in 12th grade and earlier this year, I interned at Frappe. So today I'm going to be speaking about my time over there. So, this story starts back in 2021. Back then, an NGO reached out to me to implement ERP Next for one of its subsidiaries. I tinkered with Frappe and ERP Next for a couple months. I failed at my task, and I absolutely hated Frappe. While I thought it had potential, I thought it was underdeveloped, underdocumented, and extremely slow and buggy. So yeah, I definitely didn't like the Frappe product when I first encountered it. But even back then, I really liked the company's culture and values, things about democracy, equality, and values that are very unusual in the Indian ecosystem. So last year, an op I had to come to Mumbai for something. So I randomly remember that Frappe existed here. On a whim, I just applied to intern, and to my great surprise, I mean, I've called emailed some 30, 40 companies, and all of them politely refused to give me an opportunity. So to my great surprise, Frappe actually considered me. So after three rounds of interviews, I was in. So my interview, my internship was slated to be from January to April of this year. It was mostly an online internship with one week alone. The plan was to work uh, at the Mumbai campus. So to be honest, the work I did was not the main thing I gained from the internship. But of course, an internship is largely about the work. So I'll be speaking about that first. The first project I built was just improving Frappe framework itself. I was, I, specifically, I was tasked with improving the responsiveness of Frappe Desk. So this was mostly a bug hunting and fixing project. It was an interesting first project. It involved a lot of CSS, which was very nice. Uh, I hadn't used CSS a lot before this. I still don't like CSS very much, though. Back and developer, please. My second project was building Apex Search. This was a full text search implementation meant specifically for Frappe apps, like Game Plan or Frappe Wiki. Building the actual search solution was somewhat easy. It took me about a week or so, and we had a working search solution. The challenging part here was actually improving performance and getting good results. So even though I spent just one week to build the actual search solution, I spent almost a month and a half just improving performance. It was quite frustrating at times, but it was also surprisingly meaningful to spend hours working and then see that 20 millisecond drop in results. My favorite project, however, was rehauling Frappe Gantt. So Frappe Gantt is a data representation library. I didn't originally write it. It was written by Faris Ansari, Frappe's lead project, project in here back in 2016, I think. Um, but over the years, without much maintenance, a thick layer of dust had settled on the framework, so to speak. So once one of Frappe's most popular libraries, almost nobody was using it nowadays. So my task was just rehauling the framework and making it up to date. Over the course of April, I closed almost 100 issues, added multiple new features, and entirely redid the UI. Um, this was my favorite project by far. I had a lot of autonomy on this one compared to previous ones. It involved a lot of different elements of programming, front-end, logic, debugging, and of course, the thrill of what was, at least to me, a very large and important code base. So it's no wonder that I really like this project. Some of the other reasons behind me liking Frappigan so much were unexpected, though. I'm going to speak about one here. Seeing your work have an actual impact on some real human being's life just feels insanely good. Every time I clicked that wonderful close issue button, or someone told me that my work helped them, my heart swelled with happiness and pride, and I'd go and tackle the next issue with great fervor and motivation. So this is Frappe again before my changes and after my changes. So I, I don't, I'm not sure how clear it is in the slides, but it's changed quite a bit, hopefully for the better. My opinion of the framework itself has improved quite a bit since I first used it back in 2021. This is partly because the framework itself has improved, there have been huge performance updates by this guy called Ankush, and there's been a lot of bug fixes too. But it's also in part because I had the opportunity in this internship to meet up with a lot of ERP Next clients and users, people who loved ERP Next and used it to improve their day-to-day -day work. Back in 2021, I only had myself, you know, a critic, a person who disliked the framework. I didn't really reach out to the other side and see what Frappe had to offer, the good sides of Frappe. Uh, it's also, I think, in part because of Frappe's philosophy seeping into me. It's not about where you're standing today, it's about how you're running for the future. And Frappe's team, a brilliant, humble, deeply human one, is wonderfully prepared in this arena. So yeah, the team and culture is what I'm going to speak about next. You all might know about things like Frappe's democracy, one person, one vote, or choose your own pay. I mean, that's another crazy thing. I did before I joined. 
But did you know that the team plays football together every weekend? Or that they all eat lunch together and then go out to drink chas? These seemingly small tokens build this powerfully motivated and cohesive team that we see here today. The level of autonomy that's given at Frappe is also incredible. I mean, everybody is basically running their own product. They're their own entrepreneurs. And Frappe, to quote themselves, is a social movement, not just a profit-seeking company. And that's such a beautiful attitude to see in today's world. Uh, these two pictures is just a nice metaphor that occurred to me when I was preparing these slides. So on the left is a Frappe drink. On the right is a drink of chas, buttermilk. So Frappe is not overpriced and fancy. Instead, it's authentic, simple, and sweet. I'm not sure why it's called Frappe, though, so yeah. Uh, I get a lot of weird glances from people when I tell them that I'm interning in Bodias. Are you studying, bro? Are you okay? That kind of thing. But the truth is, I've gotten so much out of this opportunity precisely because I'm a high schooler. I'm so grateful that Frappe was my first major introduction to the business world. That energy on campus that's so unpresent in other Indian workspaces was deeply inspiring. And the very unique perspectives I've gained specifically at this company I'm sure will reverberate throughout my personal and professional life. For example, I've always believed that the standard Indian corporate model isn't human-oriented enough. But believing something and just saying it is not the same as actually seeing it in practice. And seeing that working alter alternative at Frappe was really powerful. Another example is open source. Uh, I previously saw it as something, you know, hobbies developers do, not, not, not professional enough. But after coming to Frappe, I've come to realize the power of open source firsthand. And that's contributed a lot to my thoughts on how I want to build products and contribute to society in the long term. So, I'm sure all of you adults remember how mind-numbing 12th grade was for you. It's only become worse since. In India, what I've done is very unique, but it shouldn't be. Integrating more real-world experiences like mine into the education system would be a huge boost. For students, yes, but for companies too. You're training future workers, young, passionate people who are smart learners. Even if you're under social movement like Frappe, it could be the capitalistically sensible thing to do. And yes, in theory, we have computer science at schools. But the truth is, our students see computer science as an exam paper to pass. They don't get to experience that inherent joy of programming that all of us in this room know so well. We must act quickly to ensure that CS doesn't become the next mathematics, yet another beautiful subject ruined by the education system. And I hope that we as a society, students, educators, companies, lawmakers, do act quickly and stop this from happening. And more generally, our education system is quite flawed. Specifically, there's a great disconnect between what schools teach and what the corporate world wants. And I want to emphasize that learning purely for the sake of learning is awesome, but our schools don't inculcate that either. I mean, most of our students hate learning by the time they're done with their four years. So if our schools neither inspire a love for learning, nor train students with the skills that are going to help them in their careers, we do have to question whether it's actually working. And that's the thought I want to leave here today. Let's give high schoolers more opportunities. Let us make sure that the education system is actually working. So, in the one week I worked at the Frappe workspace, every day, as I walked into that huge, glittering business park, I was the only teenager visible in miles. I would take a moment to recall how privileged I was and remind myself to pay forward that debt someday. Every now and then, some company appends the world by challenging their norms, no matter what society thinks of them. We can't predict the future, but I truly hope that company will be frappy. Thank you very much.